respond to God when he calls. 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 10 Now the Lord came and stood and called at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant hears. This is an account of God calling upon Samuel. And Samuel, being a small boy who did not have much experience in the things of God, did not even recognize the voice of God. God called out to him, not once, not twice, but thrice, and Samuel did not understand it. Samuel had to go to Eli, somebody more experienced than him, to understand how to hear the voice of God. And Eli taught him to respond to God. Eli taught him to tell God, God, speak to me, here I am. And even today, you know, as we, we uh, want God to speak to us, as we want to hear the voice of God, you know, God is looking for our response. God is looking for us to say yes to what it is that you know, He wants to speak into our hearts. Now, what else can we see here uh, in Samuel's experience? We can also see that Samuel was chosen. You know, when God speaks to us, it's so beautiful that God has chosen to bring that particular word to you and to me. And it's so uh, uh, unique and, and so wonderful uh, that God is, is bringing his word uh, and, and revealing his purpose to individuals. In those times, the word of God, the Bible says, was rare. Nobody heard the, the word of God anymore, but God chose Samuel. We see that Samuel became a pioneer of the prophetic. Now, he became a, a notable prophet. He grew in the gift of prophecy upon his life. And not only that, you know, he made it possible for many others to learn about the prophetic anointing. And the same is true of us. As God speaks to us today, uh, let's be open to what God wants to do in our lives. And maybe he's calling us to pioneer things things that have never been done before uh, but as we say here i am lord you no know, we could be uh, the forerunners we could be the ones who uh, take the baton and pass it on to others do things that others will follow after so let's be open to the voice of the lord as he calls us today let's pray together Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a God who chooses men and women, O oh God, in every generation, Lord, to do the impossible, God, to make a way. And so, Father, we thank you that even this day, God, your word is coming to us. And God, as we yield to your word, God, you're teaching us things. You're releasing grace, Lord, that we have never known before. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.